Hey guys, Tavares Fan of Six here, and today for you, Duel Links. Um, so I'm trying to click that. There it is. Exclamation point back there to get a gate key. The Vagabond. Opon opening hand, one card. Fun. Hope it's a monster. Because if not, it's not going to be fun. So who goes first? Okay, that's better with only one card. Because if I don't draw a monster, at least I get another sh shot. If. Okay, well, to go figure, I draw the worst monster out of my deck of four stars. That's good. But. Oh! Okay! Alright, so hopefully I draw a 1500 dart. Select one deep. Doesn't help me. Well, I'm probably gonna lose this one. I'm gonna go ahead and say, go ahead and say I lost. Okay. Oh, you can attack the life points directly. If I don't draw a monster, I'm toast. Oh, I got lucky. If all the monster for all card division, okay. Oh, he's 1750. Shoot. I'm still gonna lose. I don't have anything that can beat that. Because I'd have to draw one of my equip cards, and I'd have to draw a monster, but starting with one card basically effed me. So I will have 800 life points after this, and I'm dead. Uh, there's, there's nothing I could have done there. Literally nothing. <laughs> okay. Man, that was stupid. I guess I really should have made a deck with only like four star monsters in it. <laughs> because I was only drawing one. It doesn't matter. I use it because I think I get a couple points for it. <clears throat> I guess that's what I could take away. I can make a deck with only monsters in it. So next time I would have had two of them. Or very, very minimum magic and trap cards. Dang. I got a lot of XP for that, even losing. Well, okay, I got 100 points, but it didn't matter. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Go, go pound sand. Well, I clicked on this. I didn't really want to duel it, but I guess we're going to duel it. I got to figure out, I got to go back and see what uh, I need to do to rank up. I got to beat my a couple times, three times. So I got to go get some, I got to get gate keys. I should have blown my gate keys. I had hundreds of them, hundreds of them. Try to beat Seto and level 30 basically took away all of them. So I'm, I'm dumb and thought that was a great idea to keep trying. Wow, okay. Alright. That guy's not bad though. During your opponent's stamina phase, send one card from the top of the deck to grab for each, most, um, each, each malice ascendant in the graveyard. But he. I doubt I'll get any to the graveyard. Oh, there we go. I just want to, um, <laughs> I just want to drag a bunch of his stuff to the graveyard. At least try to, at least. Let's see if we can do it. Jura! Oh, you jerk! Ha! Take that, Dabbington. What is it? 500 attack. Well, I can see why you you put that in the... Oh, we're gonna do that? Okay. Well, 
That's game over. Game over, man! Game over! Oh, boy. You win. Oh, yeah. I think one of them was a map. Um, let's see. Okay, cool. Cool story, bro. I lost. I suck. Yeah. All right. Mission 18. Tribute. Win three consecutive duels. Win three duels against May. All right. So let's fight. Well, I could do one. Ugh, these regular gate keys are killing me. You can trade the gate keys, 100 gate keys, for 10 of those specific ones. Did that once, which cost me 100, which was stupid. Um, so don't do that. You can do that at card trader. Wonder if I could do it reverse though. At this point, I would, because I need gate keys more than anything. The regular gate keys. So if you guys remember from the TV show, she had the Harpy Sister, the Harpy Lady deck. Um, so that's what we got going. Who's going first? Me. Um, she's level ten, so I really doubt she'll kill that. But she might have something high enough. Whatever. Draw. Ooh, 1050. Just 50 more attack to kill it. All right. With the mailman. I think that was the mailman. I think we have a male lady actually. What's your effect? Uh, wind. If there's a wind on a, I can. If there's wind, I can attack twice if it destroys a monster or something like that. I think it says. I don't, cause everything I have is dark. <laughs> Feeling nervous. It's pretty neat they have the TV show voices in here. Hey, 500 life points. Destroy one spell. Too bad I can't put on auto duel so I can show you guys how it would destroy my dark, my dark spell card there. <laughs> Cause the game's dumb. No. Wait, that's a fiend in spell type, not dark. Why was I thinking it said dark? Speed and fell type. Well, I gotta change my deck then. I guess most dark are that type, but I don't know why I thought it was dark. I don't know why. Weird. I think this is called dark something. It's a fiend in spell type, huh? Well, gotta remake my deck then. Hey, yay! Is that one in the graveyard? Eh, she's gonna kill it. That's rude. Super rude. Super ethereal rude. Alright, another fiend. So... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna make a new deck after this. I really don't like using you yet. I like Joey, I like the extra life points. Um... Being a spell type though, now that I know that, I probably can make a better deck. By the way, if you'd accidentally use that and the card doesn't face up, you have to destroy your own card. You can't back out of it. The same thing with my ritual summon guy that you flip summon, you have to you have to summon the monster, even if you didn't want to. There's nothing you can do. Dual victory! 200. No, my microphone. No microphone. No stop. Stop! All right, let's let's go. Let's go change this. Um, let's go to Card Studio. Fiend and Spellcaster set, I believe. I don't know if you can edit his main deck. Well, I guess you can. Alright. Monsters. Filter. Um. One, two. No. I like to do the high stars first. Just because uh, I only have to put a couple in. 
So Spellcaster and Fiend. Let's get this right this time. Sort it by attack. So let's get some Dark Magicians in there. Uh, let's get a Dark Magician Girl in there. Let's get this Fiend Dragon in there. And... This guy has nice defense. Um, do I have one or two? I guess I'll put two. Why not? So then next, let's go down and filter. I guess I should have hit remove probably a bit quicker. Okay. So attack. So add one guardian card from your deck or hand. Alright. For the most part, try to many of these high levels as I can. You know their effects can be useful as well, but for the most part I've found that the highest four star attacks you can get just the better just because for the most part there's there's not super overpowered monsters right now. I mean I could be wrong, I haven't played this game in like a century, but some of them are good, like this guy's kinda good, he's useful at certain points. Um I'd have to look at some other. I could do this guy as well, and then I could do my side deck. Um, let's sort by defense to see. High defensive. While this card's face up in the field, take control of one earth monster your opponent controls. Once per turn, you can trigger an earth monster, except this is special summon an earth monster. No. Once per turn, you can trigger one fire monster, summon a fire monster. No! Take control of one dark monster opponent's side field. This card remains face up in the field. No, such low attack. You basically all do the same thing. Just no, it's just remove two cards and do 800 damage to life points. It's worthless. Um. Alright, well that didn't help too much. Come back to attack. Come in there. Oh, That's yeah, still not enough. This little turd burglar can be useful. Two in there. Alright. Let's go to my extra deck here. Remove the filter. Pretty much the only thing useful is the blue eyes, because that's the only thing I'm going to bring out with that guy. Uh, Trap-wise, I like this trap card, because there's a good chance your opponent's going to flip over a monster. Enchanted one works pretty well as well. Um, I think for the most part, sometimes you use this one here, but I'm not going to. I think I'm going to go with that. Um, some of the good cards I have here, or some of the equips, but this is very good. The Mask of the Accursed. So I can put four more. Um, I want to use that. Use this one. Um, I'm not going to do the one that lets you attack twice. That could be useful to destroy a magic card if I have issues. Such one face of attack mod. Yeah, let's put this, that one. Alright, let's try this one. We gotta set the skill first. Alright. Maybe this will work out better. Probably not, but. Who knows? Who knows? Is there anyone special on the field or no? No. Alright, well. Go to the end. Oh, he doesn't have keys today. That or I can't trade for him. Maybe you only can do the one keys. Yeah, I guess you can't trade for regular keys. That's lame. Well, fun. I don't have enough regular keys to do anything, so we'll just do a normal battle. You guys still level 14? Yeah. 
All right, let's see if this one works out, Betty. Any Betty? Any Betty? Andrew versus Yami Yuji. See my computer opponents any stupid. Oh, that worked out fantastic. My opponent goes first. Are we just gonna beef him up? Oh, you use one to get rid of the other one? I mean, I guess it's not a terrible idea. I'm gonna have Dark Magician next turn. Oh, I do need to tribute summon, so I was gonna say it'd be pointless because but I need 10 tribute summons for the rank up, so um, that's actually better. We'll do that instead. Yeah, well, he has no dragons on the side of his field, so it doesn't help us, bro. All right, it's basically over. Uh, I'm going to summon Dark Magician again. Because that's another tribute. So that'll give us 2 out of 10 for the rank up. Sometimes you just gotta build decks around it and, and play the, uh, the battles instead of auto battling. Like the one I had to play like ten, tr 5 traps and 10 magic cards. I just basically made a magic card and trap card deck against these crappy people. Um, and it uh, worked out pretty well. So to get it, it took like it took like 3 fights to get all of them. So um, when you do Dark Magician for Yu Gi, it uh, does a special effect because it's his specific card. I would assume when you get Seto, it's Blue Eyes White Dragon. When you do Joey, it's Red Eyes Black Dragon, and so on and so forth. So they have like a card specific that that does that. So now hopefully I summon another monster so I can get another tree. another like uh, five or six star. That'd be sweet. <laughs> I doubt it, but whatever. Oh, I did. <laughs> Oh, she'll actually get attack increase because there's a Dark Magician in the graveyard. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what her effect does. Create attack for every Dark Magician. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> that's funny. Not as strong as Dark Magician, but... I think I got... That was three tributes this game. Alright. This is a long video. Oops. Oh well. I draw! I went through, I think, almost all of my, uh, <laughs> almost all of my, uh, my, uh, tribute monsters in this one deck, this one game. Let's do this. And it's game over. I should get some good points for that, I think. Ow. Dark Magician Bow. I should try to make a deck with 20 cards in and see how well that does. I always do the 30. I just feel like 20 is insanely low. But... Gives you a better chance. If I could ever get that one guy. Alright, what was the score? Oh, it was alright. Alright, guys, that is it. I will uh, see you next episode. Oh, the three consecutive. I was like, what? Uh, so I need five more tributes and two more May. So keep working on that. I will uh, see you guys later.